What's up, Mark here, giving you the lowdown on the most recent WWE pay-per-view, my personal favourite, the Royal Rumble. You know, the one where 30 men get thrown over the top ropes, and of course we had the historical women's Royal Rumble. Did it entertain? Did it disappoint? Well, I'm here to tell you. WWE Royal Rumble. Alright, so first up we had the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Now, this match was very unpredictable, which I quite like, because normally, in the two out of three matches, you have the bad guys winning the first one, the baby faces winning the second one, and then they win the third one. But this time, the Usos won two times straight, which I thought was quite surprising, quite entertaining, so I like that. Next up, we had the WWE title match on SmackDown, and you would have thought best friends, Cammy as they're known, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens were going to whoop AJ Styles' ass. It's a two-on-one handicap match, but best friends did not prevail because AJ Styles picked up the victory and he is going to headline WrestleMania against the winner of the Men's Royal Rumble. And then we had the Men's Royal Rumble right at the start of the show, which was a bit weird because usually it's right at the end of the main event. So some people, I think, didn't wake up in time for it and they missed it. And they're going to be very disappointed because it was an awesome Royal Rumble. Now to start things off, we had it's Rusev Day! My favourite wrestler, everyone's favourite wrestlers, the camera guy's favourite wrestlers, everyone's favourite wrestler, but he didn't win. But you know what? He had a really, really good showing and Rusev Day is Rusev Day every day of the week. Some entertaining moments in the match, especially Heath Slater. Now, he lasted a very, very long time. Not because he was good in the ring, because he didn't actually get in the ring, because every time he tried to get up and enter the ring, he got punched in the face. Not once, not twice, more than twice. It was quite entertaining. If you didn't see it, you've got to watch it. Another highlight, of course, was Seth Rollins getting knocked out by Roman Reigns. And he kind of backstabbed him because he wasn't looking. And, you know, Roman Reigns got booed even more. We also saw the return of two former WWE stars. We had Rey Mysterio, who did really, really well. And then we had the Hurricane. Yes, the Hurricane was in the Royal Rumble. But he didn't do as well. I think he lasted about 20 seconds. Now, of course, with Enzo Amore getting kicked out of WWE, uh, the Cruiserweight division is not looking too good. So maybe they brought back Ray and the Hurricane because perhaps someone might be the general manager. I'd quite like Ray Mysterio, but everyone would be looking down at him because he's so small. So I don't know how that would work. Uh, but he'd be a pretty cool manager. The Hurricane as well. Equally as entertaining, we'll have to see. We were left with four superstars in the Royal Rumble. We had Finn Balor, we had Nakamura, we had John Cena, and we had everyone's favourite, or not, Roman Reigns. Now, Roman Reigns, I've got to admit, he was getting booed like crazy. And if he had won, I think there would be popcorn machines getting destroyed. I think the chairs would have been thrown in the air. It would have been an uproar in Philadelphia. So, luckily... He didn't win, and we had Shinsuke Nakamura winning and setting up a match against AJ Styles at WrestleMania. What a match that is going to be. I can't wait. So then we went from a fantastic Royal Rumble to a really bad match. Yes, of course, it was the Raw tag team match between The Bar and Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins. Um, I'm not going to tell you to watch it back online because it was a really bad match. Jason Jordan, for some reason, was sitting on the stairs because he hurt his head. It was a bizarre match, and we went from a really good match to this. So, I'm disappointed. Next up, we had the Universal title match between Braun Strowman, Brock Lesnar, and Kane. Now, everyone thought that Brock Lesnar was going to win this match. Kane was going to get pinned, and Braun Strowman would be protected. Everyone thought of this, but you know what? What if WWE surprised us all and didn't let Brock Lesnar win? Wouldn't that be great? That didn't happen, no. Brock Lesnar won. Surprise, surprise. And finally, we had the first ever historical Women's Royal Rumble, and it was absolutely fantastic. Now, it was a great match, and we had some great returning superstars, but it was a little bit predictable because everyone kind of knew and suspected who was going to win, and that person did win. So congratulations, Dana Brooke. Come on, of course it's not Dana Brooke. It is the one and only Asuka who won. She cleaned the whole house and it was a fantastic moment that kind of got ruined by someone else. Yes, Ronda Rousey then turned up and kind of stole her glory. And what was quite more bizarre was she pointed to the WrestleMania sign 
And I'm kind of thinking, how can you just suddenly get a WrestleMania match like that? You weren't even in the Rumble, and you've just stolen Asuka's moment. But you know what? Having Ronda Rousey in WWE is a great thing. So overall, a fantastic Royal Rumble. One of the best ones I've ever seen. We had some bad matches, but the men's and the women's Royal Rumble matches were out of this world. What did you think? Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next time.